Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth and final lesson under the introduction tab of the Water in the World Teaching and Learning website resource. Uh, this is lesson four, how we use water. Make sure you go ahead and check out the description in, of this video to access the link to this particular lesson. So let's begin with our success criteria for the lesson. So by the end of this lesson, you need to know the ways people use water. And by the end of the lesson, you need to be able to identify how people use water and how this leads to water conservation. So let's begin by watching this video. Why are we learning about water and how is it used? Um, this is a really good video. It's a case study of the 2018 Cape Town water crisis where the city of Cape Town in South Africa had a day zero event, which means they had no water left. So uh, this video covers that pretty well. Uh, the causes and reasons of that um, water crisis as well. Your second activity or main activity for the lesson is completing this water calculator activity. So complete the water calculator activity for you and your household. Click the picture to access the water calculator. Answer the questions below in your book once you're finished using the calculator. Use the gallons to litres converter, link below this one here, to help you as well. This is a US calculator and I chose to use it because it was too good not to use, which means we have to convert gallons to litres. Uh, when it comes to the part where you need to pick a US state, choose California. California has a limit on how much water people can use per day, which is 55 gallons, and this is a very similar amount to uh, the amount of water people in Australia use. And also Australia is mainly a desert like California as well. So California is probably your best comparative choice to pick for this water calculator. So I'll show you what it looks like now and how to complete it. So how many people in your household? Let's say three. How long is the average shower in your household? It's definitely under five minutes for mine. Do you have low flow shower heads? Yes, we do. How many baths do I take per day? Which is none. How long do you leave your bathroom faucets running each day? Definitely under five minutes. Do your bathroom sinks have low flow faucets? I'm going to say no. I actually don't know if mine do, so I'm going to say no. Do you let it mellow? No way. Do you have a low flow toilet? I do, I know that. How long do you leave the kitchen faucet running each day? I would say probably by the time we wash up breakfast, lunch and dinner, I would say it's probably over five minutes. Does your kitchen sink have a low flow faucet? Yes, it does. How do you wash your dishes? Um, I do both of these. Um, we don't have an old school dishwasher. We've got a new one and we do rinse as well. How often do you do? Oh, sorry. How do you do laundry? Uh, I think ours is a water efficient one and we do loads per week. One load per week. We don't go to a laundromat used by someone else. Do you have a grey water system installed at home? No, we don't. Do you have a lawn or a garden? No, I don't. Do you have a rain barrel? No. Do you have a swimming pool? No. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. How do you wash your car? I use a garden hose at home. I don't use a self-service car wash. I don't do it times a day. I probably do wash my car once a month. All right, let's do virtual water. So how many miles do you drive to work per week? Oh geez, I reckon I would maybe go about 200. Where do you live? Yeah. Choose California, this one here. Where does your electricity come from? I've got no uh, solar power or anything at home, so I'm gonna press next. How much do you shop? Uh, I like to shop. Do you recycle paper? Yes. Do you recycle plastic? Yes, or plastic, yep, yeah, or bowls. Do you donate or reuse old clothing? Uh, sometimes I do, yeah. Uh, in my household, we definitely have three meat eaters. How often do you eat meat? At least once a day, I think. At least once a day. Maybe twice a day for some people in my household, actually. How much money do you spend on dog and cat food each month? None. What? Are you most interested in? I'm interested in saving money always. What do you want to learn most about? I reckon virtual water is so interesting. So I can see here that I, myself alone, I use 1,478 gallons. So let's find out how much that is in liters. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that. 
So I use 5,587 litres of virtual and non-virtual water. So that's including both. That's my water footprint. My household, this is gonna be big. This is gonna be big. Because we're including virtual water as well. 16,758 litres of water a day. And the US average is 1,802. So that's still quite a lot. I'm still quite under the average personally. Uh, but that is, that's quite a high average. All right, let's scroll down. We can see there's all this data here now. So I actually use most of my water on my diet. So that's where that virtual water. So the amount of water it takes for, uh, to grow the food that I eat, especially meat, that's what I use most of my water on. Mm -hmm. uh, my shopping habits also contribute a lot to my water use, again, through that virtual water. Electricity, a fair bit. Got kitchen sink and bathroom sink. So we can see how our indoor water isn't that much compared to our outdoor water, water and virtual water, again, is, is quite massive. We don't often realize uh, how much water we're using through virtual water, through our food, through our clothes. You can also see I'm saving a bit of water as well uh, by recycling bottles and cans, which is good. And we can see there's all this information down here as well. So that's where we're gonna get our answers from for these questions. So answer these questions after you have finished the calculator. So how many litres of water do you use a day? We've covered that one. How many litres of water does your household use a day? What's the average uh, in the US? How much water people use per day? How many litres of water does the average person in Australia use per, per day? We'll have to look that one up on Google. What is virtual water? It'll tell you uh, in if we go back to the vir virtual water tab as well, what virtual water is. Um, going back, what is your biggest indoor use of water so i'm going to go to indoor i think my kitchen sink oh it's a tie between my kitchen sink and my bathroom sink so that would be my answer for that one there what's your biggest use of outdoor water definitely my shopping habits definitely my shopping habits um, what's my biggest use of virtual water certainly my diet for indoor water uh, what do you use the least amount of water on so let's go to indoor water it's eight for the toilet, zero for the bathtub, because we don't have baths, and zero for the grey water system. All right, cool. For outdoor water, what do you use the least amount on? There's a couple there. Car washing, this one swimming pool, rain barrel, lawn, because I don't have a lawn, I live in an apartment building. So those would be my answers for that one. So really the main uh, Answers to these questions come from your collection of data based on your survey that you just completed. And then lastly, there's a Kahoot you can play with your class uh, by clicking on the image here on uses of water. So thanks for watching guys. And remember, if you want to stay updated to any new websites that are made or any other new lessons that are made in existing websites like this one here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.